Welcome! In this video, we will explore multilingual links and pedagogical translinguaging with me, Elena. These two concepts address linguistic and cultural diversity, fostering meaningful learning in a globalized world. The design trans language as a useful resource for learning and teaching rather than as an interface or a problem. Um, for example, allowing students to use their full language to express ideas and concepts in the classroom rather than limiting them to use only to using only one language. On the other hand, pedagogical trans language can be a valuable to for educators seeking to design teaching strategies that recognize the um, take a advance of the linguistic diversity of their students. This video offers two activities for bilingual students. One, the first is creating a multilingual dictionary and the second is um, conducting multilingual interviews. These two exercises promote language skills communication and intercultural empathy. It's important to plan and structure the classroom in a way uh, that promotes and supports the use of trash language. This involves using the trash language instructional design cycle to create lessons that are meaningful and accessible to students' uh, learners. The two activities will be aimed at the students in the sixth grade of primary in the third cycle. The class has 20 students and will work in five teams of four heterogeneous people with different capacity. In the first activity, students create an online multilingual dictionary using tools like Google Docs. They work in teams to search and select words and phrases in various languages, such as Spanish, English and French. This project fosters that use of multiple language is in the classroom and in nice students' collaboration and communication skills. In relation to what is stated or in the decree of the education on, of the Basque Country in 2023, this activity forces um, this specific competence. First, interact with other people using everyday expressions, resorting to comparative strategies using analog and digital, digi, digital uh, resources. And second, recognize and respect linguistic and cultural and artistic diversity from the foreign language. With respect to the basic knowledge, you make a reflection on self-confidence and learning. You also learn the lexicon and expressions commonly used to understand statements about communication. You can also use the foreign language as a means of communication and relationships uh, with people from the other countries. Intercultural empathy. That is the why in the learning outcomes you learning new words and phrases in various languages which will enrich a student's vocabulary and enable uh, them to communicate more effectively in different contexts.
finally, in the evaluation, the teacher will make a formative evaluation that is to say um, we will equalize the process and give us um, students the tools it needs uh, to progress. Um, a rubric a, a rubric will be used uh, as a tool that is to say we will mark in if he is uh, full in um, the evaluation objectives. Evaluation tools, yes, no, is the rubric. Interact with other people, yes or no. Works as a group, yes, no. Asking and answering questions, yes or no. Expressing message, yes or no. In relation to 2023, um, the record of the Basque Country, the first is select, organize and use the basic strategies for creating uh, and presenting everyday situations, asking and answering the simple questions and expressing message and initiating and ending communication. In the second activity, students conduct interviews in multiple languages, asking questions and responding in different languages. This activity encourages the use of multiple languages in the classroom and increase cultural and empathy perspectives and experience. In terms of a specific competence, uh, the first is promote the use of multiple languages in the classroom by encouraging students to ask questions um, and respond in different languages. Um, you also learn to listen and comparison skills in various, in various languages and questions, asking and answering skills. For example, input and output, listening, speaking, reading and writing. The students learn new words and phrases in different languages and development listening comprehensions and oral communication skills, active listening skills. As for evaluation, the process will be um, assisted and rubric will be used as a tool. These various activities, students improve um, language skills, cultural understanding and empathy, benefiting diverse globalized society. Living uh, our language in a learning report and rich uh, learning and support overall uh, linguist competence, including minority language. This approach protects language diversity, change attitudes towards minority language and promote promote multilinguals. Thank you for watching. You, we hope these activities encourage multilinguals and improve education. Please contact me with uh, any questions or comments. See you in the next video. Bye.